Welcome back to Get Down to Business, the show all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. I've been super excited for this conversation. I'm joined by Susan Hamilton Meyer, a personal branding expert who helps women untangle the zigzags of their career to find the clear, shiny thread of their story and design the next steps of their personal journey. Susan, welcome to the program. I always love to get to know the person behind the microphone. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself? Hey, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to, to be here. Uh, So who am I? So, well, as you might imagine from the description that you just gave about the work that I do, I am first and foremost a zigzagger. I have had a number of different careers and continue to have a number of different things that I do for work. The foremost is, as you said, personal branding. I um, work with women who are either thinking about what their next step might be um, and finding their way. Uh, and not sure yet what they want to do. And also with women who have an idea for a new business or a new position that they're seeking. And they're trying to connect those dots that I think a lot of, you know, really creative and smart people have where they've done a lot of different things and aren't really sure they can't see necessarily the connection between them. So to answer your question more directly, a little bit about me um, and my background, I started my career in management consulting with the Boston Consulting Group. Um, I was an art and art history major in college, so that was already a bit of a zigzag. Um, I thought strategy, still think strategy is really interesting. Um, so I worked with Fortune 500 companies, Fortune 100 companies for a number of years um, in the under the umbrella of management consulting, and I got really interested in brands because I thought it was fascinating what uh, drew people into their really emotional connections with. At the time, I was working with big consumer brands. I started my own branding agency serving corporate clients uh, 12 years ago. I've worked in consumer goods and also extended into healthcare and technology. Um, And that's been the bulk of my work for the last, you know, half of that. And started working about three years ago with smaller businesses, and particularly with women doing the work that I just described. I also continue to make art. Um, I paint, I make jewelry. Um, so I've got a lot of zigzags in my life and I am a great uh, proponent of exploring all the things that you find interesting and that make you feel creative and happy. Okay, so you've used that term zigzag several times in our conversation so far and I love it, the zigzag path. So I wanna understand, especially as we move into uh, what for many is the period of contemplation and strategy around New Year's resolutions, Everybody wants to start thinking of, hey, am I satisfied? Am I happy? How can I make more money? What can I do to achieve my goals? All those sort of things. And part of that, if I understand correctly, is that may involve a zigzag path. So what is that and why is it valuable? Indeed, this is the time of year. We all do it. Um, So one of the things, so the way that I structure the work that I do with my clients, and I think this is the answer to your question, is we start with self-reflection and like what's important to you and what are you all about and particularly what are your core values. So I use a number of different prompts and exercises to help people get at this. We do some collaging. um, We do some other stuff um, to make it fun and also to think a little bit differently. Um, But I think that it's, you know, you said it, it's about reflecting on who you are, what you want, giving yourself permission to do that is sometimes the actual first step. Um, because a lot of us, um, and I think particularly women, um, I, in my experience, I found um, kind of bear this uh, burden, um, self-imposed largely, um, of what we should do and what people need from us. And, you know, we're serving uh, the, the needs of other people. And we forget that our needs and our desires are as important and actually help us serve the world better if we can really tap into those things that we um, that are genuinely what we're all about. That's very powerful indeed. So again, I'm chatting with Susan Hamilton Meyer, um, who, as we said, is a personal branding expert, helps women, but already helping everybody, all of our listeners untangle zigzags of their careers to find that clear shiny thread of their story and design the next steps of personal journey and this is as we both agreed that time of year which is very very important so susan um you have been very modest because you're an alum of the harvard business school and the boston consulting group and so when was that aha moment for you that you have you sound very passionate about what you do 
when did you discover that this is your career and this is the sort of the, the current step of your zigzag? Yeah, it's, you know, I think the aha moment on this one wasn't so much one moment, but more just suddenly it was all around me. And I do believe that things come to you that you, you're sort of meant to do. And suddenly you can't deny that that's what's happening. It was more that friends and friends of friends started coming to me and saying, I know this isn't exactly what you do because you work with these large companies, but I could really use some help launching this new business idea. Or could you help me think about how to write, you know, the, the bio for my LinkedIn page, or I'm going to a networking event or a board meeting, and I'm going to need to introduce myself, but I've been out of the workforce for a little while. So it just started coming to me and I was doing it, you know, pro bono for a while. And I thought, wow, I can really use the tools that I've worked to develop for corporate clients. Those same tools are actually going to be able to help these folks. And this is really kind of heart-centered work, right? You're, mm -hmm. you're helping an individual change their lives. So I think that was the, the journey for me. That's awesome. Well, we've got to squeeze in a very quick break here on Get Down to Business. You can always go to my website, shalomkline.com. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation with Susan. We'll talk a little bit more about creativity. Um, why is it important? Why, what are some of the easy ways that you can be more creative, more productive in your daily work life? Uh, again, I'm, ch you know, I'm chatting here on Get Down to Business with Susan Hamilton Meyer. You're listening to Get Down to Business, and we will be right back. So don't touch that dial. You're listening to the show all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. We'll return in just a moment. Welcome back to Get Down to Business. We're continuing our conversation with Zigzag Master herself at Thread. We're chatting with Susan Hamilton Meyer, personal branding expert. Susan, you've already shared so much with us. We've talked about those zigzags, but I equate those zigzags sometimes with creativity. What are some of the easy ways that our listeners can sort of add to their New Year's resolutions, as we said a moment ago, to be more creative, be more productive in their daily work life or maybe their career transitions? Um, I love that question, but I also just need to stop and say, I love the title Zigzag Master. It's probably the best title you could possibly have. And I'm going to try to find a way to incorporate that into my profile somewhere. Awesome. <laughs> I used to, Fantastic. I used to say the best title I ever had was the last agency I worked for was uh, my title was Director of Vision. Uh, what I was was the director of strategy, but I was so inspired by that title and I've kind of carried that with, I don't call myself that anymore, of course, but I, I've carried that with me because I do think it's about, and I'm a visual person, as I said, I'm an artist. So for me, it's literally visual, but even if you are, you know, more of a words person or a music person, it's still about, you know, thinking in this broad way. And so how can we be more productive and creative in our lives? Um, so there is, if you are a visual person, or even if you're not, there is a visual component. And maybe even if you, especially if you're not, you might be overlooking some of the ways to enhance your visual environment to spark creativity. And I actually got really interested in this during the pandemic when many of us started new side projects um, and many of us were working at home. I actually started doing um, a little research project that turned into a blog about home workspaces and how people were crafting their workspaces specifically to enhance their productivity and creativity. Um, and I'll tell you where that is at the end of this. But um, uh, what I have learned from, you know, interviewing dozens of people who are kind of at the top of their game in creative fields um, is that that space where you work is very important. And especially in a world where a lot of us are still hybrid or maybe permanently at home, um, you know, not crowding yourself onto the edge of the dining room table, or if you have to be at the edge of the dining room table, creating a space where you have plants, you have light, you have something inspiring to you to look at. It could be a poster, uh, you know, a postcard that you stick up onto the wall while you're working. It doesn't have to be a great work of art, but something that kind of gets you into the frame of mind that makes you both creative and productive. 
what I learned from doing that research is that these two things are totally intertwined. I think we think of productivity as like serious time with a spreadsheet or something. And creative is like, oh, we're going to have fun now. They're, they're intertwined, right? If you do something, you know, if you're, let's say, very, you know, I'm an accountant, you still need to be very creative, right? There's, <laughs> there's a lot of creative accounting out there. And likewise, sure. if you're a musician, you still need to be organized and productive. So I, I do think those things are very intertwined. So short answer, easy thing you can do tomorrow, think about your workspace, think about what's around you, create the right visual and energetic place for you to be working, own it, and uh, you know, sort of take command of that space. Um, other things, uh, you know, I know we have one second left, but another thing I want to say that's beyond the workspace is read a lot, go to art shows, go to, you know, concerts and think about how those things relate to each other because it's this intermingling of different spheres that really activate mm -hmm. creativity. That's some really, really great advice and some real good takeaways that everybody can sort of reflect on. And um, again, creativity and the productivity come together from the zigzag guru, the master herself. That's right. We've been chatting with Susan Hamilton Meyer. Susan really enjoyed our conversation. I can't wait to bring you back on real soon. Um, but for starters, can you share your website with our listeners? Well, my website where you can find it all is in fact, embrace the zigzag, uh, com, And that will take you to my website, which is Susan Meyer studio. And you will see all the different things that I do there. There's some free okay. downloads about how quick start guides for thinking about writing your brand story, how to work happier, uh, lots of good stuff there. So please awesome. reach out. Awesome. Well, that's a wrap for us here and get down to business to success. We'll talk to you next week.